Hi guys, welcome to the second lesson of the SEG bombing course. This le lesson covers how to do spiral dive bombing. And this is a technique I like to use when I attack AA in certain circumstances, especially if I'm attacking AA in a solo situation. Um, now this contrasts with the regular technique of straight in dive bombing where you just will die from a high altitude at a very fast speed, straight in, drop your bomb, and get out. Now you do that, of course, 95% of the time. Uh, but what I like about spiral dive bombing when I attack AA is that it keeps my relative motion constantly changing such that the AA has trouble tracking me and it rarely, if ever, hits me. So I would like to demonstrate to you how to do this exactly. First, let me show you what happens a lot of times if you just dive in straight at AA. Okay, so I have icons here just so you can see things easier. So there's my target down there at the end of the runway with a bunch of clustered AA. You know, it's not a terribly realistic situation, but I want to show this to you. Okay, so you see here, I'm just coming straight in, and the firing of the AA is just all around my, my airplane. Of course, I eventually take a hit and just go in. And you can see there, I was even trying to, you know, maybe make some of the guys on the trucks run away with some fire, because sometimes if you get bullets to land close, they can run away. But in a situation like this, it's not even close to enough. Let me show you this from the position of the AA gunner. And show you why it's easy for them to track me with a straight in attack. Okay, so you see there's the 62Ks opening up on me. I'm starting to come in. You see the relative position of my plane. It's not moving. It's completely stationary. It makes for a very easy tracking to kill me. Owie. Okay, here's demonstration of the spiral dive bombing technique. Okay, so all it involves is gradually always turning into the AA so that it cannot easily track you. And you want to keep on closing the distance over the AA so that you can just flip over onto them and drop your bomb. You see I'm jinking here a little bit. The 72K is now opening up on me. Closing the distance over them. Okay, I'm about ready to flip over. I like to use the red ball on the top of the 110 to help line up. And then I straighten out just for a second, and then I drop just as the bomb comes on the tip of the nose. So that hit was close enough there. Let me fast forward a little bit to the other AA position. Okay, in this case here, I didn't even climb up very high. I'm only at like 1.7K. And you see the 62K firing at me here. I'm jinking up and down a little bit. Starting to close in on the AA by, by gradually spiraling in on it. 72K is now close up to me. That's opened up on me. Again, turning in, slowly trying to get over the target, actively avoiding the AA. Watch as it comes in. Put the nose up and down as needed. Okay, I'm about ready to flip over now. Okay, line it up with the red ball, the, the position. Pull through and drop now. <laughs> Direct hit. So, as you see on these two dive bombing runs, I didn't take a single hit at all. And, you know, compared to just straight into dive bombing, it's pretty effective in my book. Uh, just quickly here, let's look at what it looks like from the position of the A. 
And you can see here that the tracking is never constant, or your position is never constant to the A. Okay, see how that my plane is always constantly moving? If you flip around it enough, the, the guns get more confused and they don't even fire at you very much. And I just straighten out briefly there and I pull away again quickly. You can imagine yourself as an AA gunner. That type of target is going to be so much harder for you to hit. Here we can quickly jump to the other dive bomb we run. Okay, I was a little late there, but you see there again, my position is always moving. So for this lesson, practice your spiral dive bombing and see if you can do it successfully on both positions without taking a hit. Good luck.